What's up, Scrollgers? It's Nerp here, and today we're going to play some Ranked. Uh, for this week, I did get another weekly winner, this time only for third place, though. So part of me actually wanted somebody to overtake me there so I wouldn't get a weekly winner, so I'd be able to show off my mod badge in chat, but instead this, the weekly winner still overrides the mod badge. But whatever. And I just want to match, so I'm just behind number one right now, so hopefully I can take that in this video. So, we're going to play some Mono Energy. I don't think you guys have seen me play Mono Energy ranged in quite some time on, the, time on this channel. You've seen me play a lot of Grave Block Energy, but this is my current Mono Energy range deck. Um, the only reason I call it Mono Energy is because I do have Eclamatons and Iron Cloud Rivers in there, which are both non-ranged creatures. So I'll be back when a match is found. Alright, found a match. Let's join it. Underscore underscore J4. Hello and good luck. Have fun. This is, um, I think, a good starting hand because we have a burn and we have a turn 2 play and a turn 3 play. And if there's nothing for me to burn, I do have a turn 4 play as well. Obviously, I'd rather have a Storm Runner or a Cannonade or a Forge instead of one of these smugglers. But um, I can't get too greedy with a mulligan when this is a pretty darn good starting hand as it is. And we're going first, so that's really good. If you go first and you start a hired smuggler and you're starting here, it's really nice. Unfortunately, if he's like growth, he's not growth, but if he was growth and he paid like uh, aging, I mean, um, kid felt brave right in my hired smuggler's lane, that'd be pretty bad because I couldn't protect it with anything other than another hired smuggler. I know Bombard, the uh, key scroll in range decks like this, but early on, I don't think I'll be really be using it. So I'll just play that right there. And I, I mean, maybe I should have sacrificed the Ekomaton because Ekomaton doesn't really have a have a good time against Growth because Growth doesn't play that many spells. Um, I mean, what am I saying? This is why do I keep thinking this is Order? Ekomaton is actually really good against Order because of all their little spells. Never mind. Sorry about that. Uh, I did top deck a Canada, so I'm gonna get rid of the Heart Swap and play that instead. Um. I could move down. See, he is this out, so I'm probably not going to be able to burn anything. I could burn this if I can hit it next turn. Yeah, let's move down. If he plays like a, like a Skirmisher with in that row this turn, I might be in a bit of trouble. And if he has like follow-up spells to decrease the countdown, we'll see. Hopefully we don't see... Okay, just infiltrate. That's, that's fine, I don't mind that. Ironclad Reaver. Do I want to stay on curve and get rid of the burn? Burn as well as the bombard is a very clingy scroll. It's so hard to sacrifice it because you know how good it is. Just playing this and then you are instantly like ahead in like resources and stuff and scrolls. But seeing as whatever he plays is going to probably be on this road with the Swing Swarder, I'm going to sacrifice it. I'm just playing the Echomaton. Um, I th yeah, I think that's going to be the best option because I want to keep that Iron Collider Reaver. It's this is a really strong start if I can go 2 drop, 3 drop, 4 drop, 5 drop. I'm not sure if that can be matched. So I am i don't love having to sacrifice the burn, but it's okay. And this guy's not even in burn range anyways. And uh, I'm just going to go for resources and play the Iron Collider Reaver. Um... And I will damage you, and I'm gonna protect you guys with the Ironclad Reaver. I know he's I know he's order. He could have a billion um, answers to this, like making this guy attack this turn and giving him all sorts of attack buffs to take things down. But I'm baking on the chances that he only has four scrolls, four resources. He's not gonna be able to take down both the Ekonson and the Smuggler. And hopefully, I can kill some things this coming turn. And every time he plays a spell, this guy's attack is gonna increase. So he sacrifices for scrolls. I'm not sure if he's playing Lakey Mortar or Tempo Order yet. He does play Rusted Mutant, which is going to have like a double focus. Ouch. That hurts. Um, yeah, that was a really good draw for him. Uh, I'll sacrifice the Spark for Scrolls, and I get some things I can play with. At least that we know he only has one more focus in the deck. So that was pretty much the worst possible scenario. 
But as you can see, he still had to play three scrolls to destroy two of my creatures, and I got energy from the Akumaton dying. So it's not the worst thing in the world, even though he did take out like high cost creatures of mine. So now I would like to have that burn back and just burn this guy. Machinated does the job. So that was a good top deck on my end. So we're both getting good draws here. But since I went first and I had the great early curve, it looks like I'm ahead. And I'm going to separate uh, my guy, so I'm actually threatening all lanes of the board. And the Machinated will destroy the guy behind. It will actually clear his board. So that was a pretty perfect draw. Probably better than a burn anyways. And I have three Canadas on the board now. But I am top decking. And good. He does not have anything. Unfortunately, I have to get rid of it on the match. And it's very important when I have all the Canadas on the board. But I'm going to have to sacrifice it. And I'm just going to play the Stormrunner. Seeing as he had an infiltrate before, he's might be playing late game order. And that means Manganels um, often. So I don't want to really fill the board. But I will play this Stormrunner. And I'm just going to play it right here. I'm going to try to stay out of big Manganel combos. He obviously only has enough resources to do one Manganel speed this turn. And he'll probably kill both of these guys. And I didn't play that Dust Runner just so I have more options of what to sacrifice next turn. And like I said, I don't really want to fill the board. So is this going to be a Manganel play? No. He goes with a Wing Shield and a Skirmisher. So now I hope I draw the third Machinated in my deck. Um... I will get rid of the Dust Runner. And I do. That I'm getting some good draws, I'm not going to lie. Although I would love to save the Machinated for like the Storm Runner or the Kenetta. Or the I mean or another time, but this is just a perfect time to just use it again. Destroying the armor unit in front and the three health unit behind, the three health skirmisher behind. And I'll just play a forge right in the middle there. And I'm just gonna separate just a bit. Just to stay out of a huge mango now. So again, these guys are actually going to deal some idle damage pretty fast. So yeah, he just goes ahead and surrenders here. Because I had... I'd say the perfect draws this match. Um, it was it was just ideal. I went from 2-drop Smuggler, the best 2-drop. Um, I'm talking about in this deck the best possible things. I mean, maybe I'd rather have Storm in turn 3 than the Kenneta, but still. I went... I went 2, 3, uh, Ekomaton, uh, Ironclad Reaver, and then just had the Machinated each turn to just to put him down. So I feel kind of bad for that, but I don't feel bad that I am back in number 1. So that's good. And guess that'll be it for today so like the video if you enjoyed subscribe for more content like this and i will see you all tomorrow